canvas, a new beginning for so many things, but the end of the college football season for Missouri and Minnesota. The conference special teams player of the year. Thirty-two starts the game at running back. He tries the left side, hit in the backfield, and taken down for a loss. No start for Minnesota, and Eric Murray considered the shutdown quarter for the Gophers. Mock back quickly throws incomplete. Looked like movement up front. So far, number sixty-five, offense, five-yard penalty, second down. Behind the sticks. Fake to Hansbrough. Mock. And it's intercepted. Thrown to Derek Wells, who made the diving catch for Minnesota. Mock just threw it up for grabs, and Wells did just that. Off to the right side the whole time. Darius White was jammed at the line of scrimmage. Eric Murray had perfect coverage. There's no way that Mock saw the coverage that Eric Murray. Cobb, the single season record holder in rushing for Minnesota. Bursts. Inside the Missouri 40. I didn't stop that. Two tight ends, only one wide receiver. Leidner with the fake. Plenty of time. Wants to go deep down the sideline and caught by Cobb out of the backfield, but he's out of bounds. Cobb, not this time, got back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes that Missouri pass rush, and Leidner lost the ball. And Missouri has it. Who Shane Ray got defensive player of the year, but you watch the tape. This guy, Golden, can really play, and that looks to me like a fumble. Looked like it came loose. Murphy. This is a really good Minnesota defense. On the uh, stretch run by Murphy. Four man rush against Mock to Murphy out in the flat. They will use Murphy an awful lot as as a receiver third down Mott trying to move the sticks gets it out to Sasser just a little bit but the ball was put on time on the money by Mott Mott goes back to throw the pass underthrown and intercepted picked off by Brian Body Calhoun his fifth interception of the season that leads the team. The ball is underthrown, and Body Calhoun played it beautifully. They call it. The rolling on the field is a defensive back did not gain possession until he was in the end zone. Play resulted in interception for a touchback. Bobbling it as he was going, did not have possession. Did an excellent job taking it away from Derek White. What a play. Darius White, excuse me. You're going to see a lot of this. Takes it outside, and that Missouri defense swarms and gets him at the line of scrimmage. Always haven't done a great job for him. So it hasn't always been his fault. And now they go to their All-American tight end, Max Williams, behind the line of scrimmage. Leibniz has the first down. They'll move the sticks. It's a game easier, but they want that intermediate and short game to come around. Fly sweep to K.J. May. He's the one with the speed at the midfield. Leidner, short set, throws. Got his tight end, Lincoln Plesek. He wanted to see was accuracy in the short throws. Cobb, ninth in the country in rushing. Play for the division crown in the Big Ten. He can't run. They have upgraded the, the talent level on this team year after year after year. Embrace the whole kind of ethics and ethos of this program, and it's really been fun to watch it grow. Ball start, number 63. Five-yard penalty. It's second out. NFL, but they're going to have some guys next year. Cobb in the flat. Nice catch on the throw from Weidman. Cobb. Uh, the Badgers. Showed great technique on that last catch, too. Excellent hands, wide receiver kind of hands. Needed to settle him down a bit, and it's worked really well. Well, Latarski in motion, Widener keeps it, tries to make something out of it, gets down to the 20 coming in this drive. Straight up the middle, Roderick Williams Jr. That's only his third touchdown run of the year. Uh, 
High end over end. And goes out of the end zone. And they come out throwing again. This one intended for Sasser too low. And Hands broke off the right side. Little bit of room. Takes it up to the 28-yard line. Minnesota comes with a blitz. Mock on the draw. And great recognition there. Saved. But if he stays to the left, he easily gets by Keith. Brinzer to punt. Booms it. Craig James on the return. Makes a man miss. Looking for a block. There's a flag down. And so is James as he got out across the 30. During the return, holding. Number 27, receiving team. 10-yard penalty if you spot a foul. First down. And they're right. It's just a commitment to do it. Cobb on the delay. Out to the 20. Defensive backs aren't reading that play correctly. K.J. May flies sweet. Not much. Football's doing a nice job. Widener play action. Flushed. Trying to throw on the run. Has K.J. May wide open. Picks his way off the left side. Not much there. Five. Draw play Cobb. Just picks his way. He'll be shy of a first down. And, and really the way this defense has been playing. Give it a chance. Hang time critically important with Murphy back there. And the hang time. Haven't been able to get anything on track. Mock throws underneath to Sasser. And Sasser immediately knocked out of bounds. Nine from White. And then you turn to this guy, Murphy. And Murphy stuck as he got to the line of scrimmage. Get what you think about him. Forget everything you've heard. Just watch the game tonight. He can at times be brilliant from within the pocket. Matty Mock on a keeper. Running Matty Mock again. Brinzer to kick to James, who waits near the 40. It's a fake. And they're going to get a first down. What a great time to pull it out. And Nick Hoffman. It's Harold Brantley. What an excellent run by Brantley. And it sure was. Yeah, Harold Brantley. Nice gutsy call. It's a bold game. You're not getting your offense going. Why not call that? This is Murphy as the momentum shifts to Missouri. Murphy to the Minnesota 41. 6'3", 240 who can run. He might have a future at the next level. Mock with time, now under pressure. Bro is the running back. Blitz. Mock throws against it, and outstanding coverage again. Board here on offense. And they will go with the punt. Excellent coverage. They stop the ball at the one-yard line. Cobb, the tailback. Gives him running room and more out across the 10. There was movement up front. Number 88, mm. five-yard penalty. It's second down. Leidner, keeper. Out to the 11. Back to the quarterback keeping the ball. Cobb trying to get that yard. Had a slip in the backfield time is going to be and there is a returnable low line drive kick and Murphy drilled as soon as he got his hands on it back at midfield and for the 49ers Don James uh, was my college coach he knew a thing or two Hansbro with an enormous hole up the middle Murphy cut loose in the middle of the run game Hansbro again and this time Coming up from his safety point. Mark short set being flushed. Mark on a keep down to the 21 yard line. Third down. Third and four. Murphy. Broke a tackle. Murphy still on his feet inside the 10. It's a little play, but that made that a makeable down. Mark on the keeper. 
on second and goal. He'll get the carry. Murphy inside the four to about the three and a half. It'll bring up another big third down. Mock throws on a slant intended for Sasser, but Derrick Wells was right there. The yards. He's made 16 out of 23 this year. That's his 17th. In the fifth, and you're seeing hanging obviously punch for punch with the SEC East champion. Very good confidence this year. 100% right now. Leidner throws underneath to Williams and the All-American tight end status on the field. Cobb. Not much there, but he makes the most of it up to the 27-yard line to the Jackets for their performance last night. Williams underneath and Max Williams dragging a tackler with him for a first down. And crossing routes are so hard to cover. Leidner out of the backfield and Miles Thomas the fullback to do as well as the runs continue to move that clock. This little flanker screen to Isaac Fricky by Matt Leingrover. Third and a long two. Ball's loose. K.J. May. They botched the exchange between Leidner and May. Murphy waits back at the 22. Low line drive kick again. And the dangerous Murphy up to the 32. Going to pay off this afternoon. Mock throws underneath. Things off target a little bit. He's as likely to get it as your guy. Murphy. Straight up the middle to the 45-yard line. Seven carries, 61 yards for Murphy. Mock under pressure. Chased by Wilson, can't get him. Matty Mock, heck of a run. Admitted he was reading some, but they say it never affected him. And he's very strong, emotional young man. Ish Witter gets a chance to carry the ball. He had, had a much improved back half of the season. Blitz coming, Mock hangs in there, throws for Sasser. Got it, touchdown! This ball. They're both looking back to their right shoulder, and Body Calhoun saw the head of Sasser turn. His guy to make an adjustment. Missouri, after gaining only 28 yards. Well, one thing's for sure, nobody plays second halves like they do. You know, what's and the Gophers will start at the 25 with 104. The delay to Cobb. If he picks a 20, then you can go do something, but he doesn't. They've held him in check, at least as a kick returner. Leidner under pressure, throws to Williams. Williams shakes a tackle, drags another tackler with him out across the 35-yard line. Leidner, short set, goes underneath. They'll pick up a few, but Fricky will stay in bounds. I, I, I understand the theory, and, and look, Mitch Leidner looks upset, and I don't blame him. That felt way too conservative, given the fact that Max Williams had given him a key first down. Solid, trusting coaching staff in college football. Onside kick. It looked like Missouri had a shot at it, and they got it. Oh, it is, son. Well, that ball kicked, and then it hits the ground. If that ball does not hit the ground, then Sasser could not have made a play on it because it would have had to have been, excuse me, that was Ian Simon, not Sasser, who makes the recovery. But what an excellent kick by Andrew Beck. A kick and a fake punt. Two of the biggest plays in the game. This is Murphy. Runs through an arm tackle, just tripped up as he got inside the 20. Steven Richardson to spring the run. Murphy again. Gary Pinkle to flip it over here in the second half. Murphy again. Third and one, hands brought, hit the backfield. Great. They certainly didn't fool Eric Murphy. Great on that blitz. Baggett, who has hit a 21-yard field goal, will try from 33. And just got it inside the left upright. Involved when they have extra practices is to put in trick plays. Myrick, that tremendous kick returner. Herb. They just don't feel overly challenged by those Missouri wide receivers. Cobb will get about a yard. You're in a row. 
little ready for this season to end. Leidner throws on the run. KJ May couldn't stay in bounds. Yeah, that was a beautiful throw that time. Leidner again back in the pocket under pressure. Williams. Max Williams hurdles a defender and dives for the end zone. Touchdown. What a play. Holy cow. David Cobb with an excellent block on the blitz. And yeah, I think this would be a nominee for the top 10. Goes over the top of Arian Penton. What a play. If Max Williams had not made up his mind to go in the NFL, that one may have done it. <laughs> Anybody else I need to hurdle? Well, we talked about moving him around, and that's Matt Limegrover, the offense coordinator in this offensive staff, using their best player really well. The dangerous Murphy on the return. Hands bro the tailback. He'll get the call. And Damian Wilson, the middle linebacker, and things like that. Well, their run game's certainly been better than their passing game. Matty Mock floating this one, and again, did not have anybody open. Four-man rush. Mock takes off, really, when he didn't have to, and that's been an issue for him. Can run from the middle of that defense. Marcus Jones is the deep man. Short end-over-end -end kick. Jones comes up. And hit it on the short hop, fumbled the ball, taken by Missouri. Be advanced by Missouri because it was not possessed. But just a terrific heads up play that time. So another huge opportunity for Missouri. Hands bro. Hit immediately by Antonio Johnson. This second and seven for the Tigers. Mock. Throws on the run out of bounds. Wow. You just got to pull up. That's Damian Wilson. I mean, it wasn't a tremendous hit, but obviously yeah. he got there late and down. Murphy hit in the backfield. He may lose a yard. Tackle. Mock under pressure. Slips a tackle. Mock. Touchdown. Mock throws, has it knocked down, intercepted. Body Calhoun. You got a chance to score on this play. And Body Calhoun takes it all the way out to the 32. Going through concussion protocol. But that's what we're trying to get out of the game is that drop of the head right before hit. If Wells keeps his head up, I'm sure he'd be healthy. Myrick, number one in the Big Ten, and kick returns off to the races. Midfield to the 40. The first chance he's had to run one back, and he makes the most of it. The Strangely, as they have been marking Cobb. Oh, what a catch by K.J. May. 75 yards for May. Cobb inside the 20. Let's check in with Chris Cotter. Chris. The amount of running backs. Yes, yeah, loaded, including Unreal. this guy. Cobb hit in the backfield. Nice play by Marcus Golden. Leidner looks toward Williams on the right side, has it batted down at the line of scrimmage. Just four of his last seven. Has a huge leg and just crushes that one. Do a terrific job of showing these young men around. Murphy watches it sail out of the end zone. And Wells, his day is over. Mock. Goes to the flanker screen to Darius White and a White out of the end zone. So now it is second and 12. Mock on a quick slant and one of the few really well thrown balls. Happens to his actually that throw pretty nice there. Mock to throw again under pressure. And they got him a loss of one or two. This winner on the delay. Big hole up the middle. And Witter's got a first down. Returns as the tailback. He'll get the call. Mock short set. Throws a slant to Sasser. He's got it. Hands pro. He'll try the left side. 
picked up and deposited by Cedric Thompson back in the ball game. Mock under pressure. Almost lost the ball goes down at the 45. 12 guys on the field Illegal still. substitution. Defense. 12 men in the formation. Five yard penalty. It's third down. Murphy is his running back. Pressure coming. Mock throws as he was falling down and threw it right into the chest of a defender. He's lucky that that ball wasn't picked. Tackles were beat off the edge, but as he goes to throw it, ooh, I think his knee was down. He is down. Yeah, I think that they may review this. Or excuse me, they, they called him down when he threw it. Three sacks in the last six plays. Fair catch made at the 10. But it won't matter at the end of the year what statement they made at the end of this year, unfortunately. I don't think. Like, they, they would point out to you th this year. Yeah, I would in the in the final uh, final analysis, I would have to agree with you. Edwards on the pass from Leidner. Play action fake to Cobb. Leidner with all day. Throws deep, has a man overthrow him. Route by Frickty. Second and ten. Leidner on the keep, fumble, then fumble back, still loose. Initially picked up by Brantley. Clear in the game, but that ball was never put away properly. It was forced by Shane Ray, the fumble forced by Shane Ray, but it looked to me like Leidner never really had that ball as he put it away, and Brantley tried to pick it up and run, and then Webb, the former high school quarterback. Starting from the Minnesota 34. Fake to Murphy. Just floats it up down the middle. Almost caught for the touchdown. Knocked away at the last moment. Hands broke. Nothing. He'll lose a couple. The center of that Minnesota defense. Blitz. Mocked with a fake. They wanted to set up the screen. They get it to Murphy, and Murphy dives for the sticks. This will be Baggett from 45. He's hit two shorter ones, 21 and 33. And nothing doing. Holding number 86 offense. The penalty is declined. Play results in short of the line of game. Change of possession. First down, Minnesota. No, this was a, no, it's a, a plan yeah, fake. It's, it's a plan fake. And Webb just was slow to the hole. They had it set up. They had the left tackle, Mitch Morris, and score. You're up two, two scores. Widener can't get out of the backfield. The hole. Widener incomplete. Right into the arms of Berkeley Edwards, and he couldn't hold it. Edwards, a running back by trade. And I think he may have lost that ball. Wonderful throw by Leidner. Johnson was late getting over there. Let it get into his body. Yeah. First down is down third and ten. Leidner again throws underneath to Frickie, but that's well shy of a first down out at the 32. Tell first team all Big Ten average over 45 yards a kick, but that's the third straight line drive kick he's had to Murphy. And there he goes. Murphy, the kicker to beat, still on his feet. There is a flag down, however, back at the 20. Murphy goes 82 on a line drive kick. Now we'll check the marker. And and the the. the there are two fouls during the return. Holding number 36 receiving team. That penalty is declined. Illegal block in the back. Number nine receiving team. Ten yard penalty from the spot of foul. First down, timeout. So instead of an 82-yard punt return for a touchdown, this is hand pro who lost his footing. Getting long. Minnesota crowd trying to get in it. Mock to the sideline to Sasser. Hands pro. Nice cut by him. Just enough for a first down. Mock. Got it out to the tight end, Culkin, who has his legs cut out from under him by Antonio Johnson. In the game, but the way both of these teams run their offense, 
That is significant. And here's Hansbro. He's got a big seam up the middle. And Hansbro. 78 yards for a touchdown. And 10 yards for Hansbro. The point after is good. I would hope that they have gone through some type of concussion protocol because of the hit uh, to the head with Derek Wells. He didn't look like he was concussed on that play. He didn't have that moment where it looked like he blacked out. However, head coach today gets the win. Halfback pass back to Leidner. Barely made it complete, and Leidner is out of bounds and almost. A Harold Brantley highlight <laughs> show. Defensive lineman. Had the presence of mind at least to get it up like that. Cobb for only a couple. Minnesota. I mean, the way Missouri's running the ball, you just don't know how many chances you're going to get. Leidner with time and throws behind K.J. May. And that's no joke. Yeah, be there at 255. <laughs> the former Marine will tolerate nothing less. Leidner. You can only hold it so long. Even Ray, those bookend pass rushers. Saddle up and rip here. Williams had that ball tipped and couldn't hold it. Here comes the four-man pass rush. Leidner in trouble. Shovel pass dropped by Cobb. That's incomplete. Tell has kicked three consecutive line drives to him. Much better kick this time. Hangs it up toward the sideline. They let it go, but it goes into the end zone. So, a better friend, you have been awesome. Murphy breaks a couple of tackles off to the races with that brilliant speed. Inside the 20, inside the 10. But uh, they have been able to manufacture a really nice run game in this ball, in, uh, this ball game. Hansbro, who has the middle is really where you're going when you're spreading people out. Hansbro again breaks a tackle, gets down inside the seven yard line. But obviously, talent good enough to play in the SEC. Mock floats this for Sasser. Touchdown. Three play. Nothing jumped out, and also all of our all the scores are confirmed. So they would not have overturned it because there wouldn't have been video evidence. Little squib kick taken by Minnesota up at the 44. <coughs> now Leidner has a huge problem. Drops it off for Cobb. And they said it means a lot. You know, guys, guys who may not have given them the time of day four years ago are now saying, oh, Minnesota, well, come on in and sit down. Let's talk about this. We're going to develop them. They're going to be good. They're going to have a chance to play in the NFL. They're going to play in a great conference. We're on the upswing. The credibility has just gone through the roof for them. And you saw Jerry Kill's record with his coaching staff at Minnesota. He has done this at every single stop he has made, built them into winners, and moved on to the next stop. And you just got to... You, you just got to root for yeah. all these guys. A beautiful stadium. They have great resources. They're obviously in a conference that's flush with cash, so uh, they're, they're in a good spot. Here's three years, three years, three years, whenever he's been. He said, came to Minnesota. He Leidner gives it to Williams, looking for somebody to jump over. Game they've come up with here. And Williams, not your typical... Well, one guy wrote when they said they were going to join the SEC. This is going to be a, a, a disaster. Program. And Gary has taken that, I think, to another level. Williams diving in the back of the end zone. Can't come up with it. Paid off all the way through Pinkle and Missouri. Cobb on the direct staff. And then K.J. May. And May throws incomplete. But they, this guy was a basketball player in high school, and what they look for is 11th win. And it's the first time in the history of this program that they have had back-to-back. -back. And uh, Dave Steckel, the defensive coordinator, and Gary Pinkle, the head coach, just got the Gatorade bunch. Dave Steckel, a longtime assistant of Gary Pinkle, moving on to be the head coach at Missouri State. And you can see the love and respect his players have for him. Best of luck to Dave. And then you can't forget the head man. You got to get him with the cold stuff. What a terrific season. A little rough patch there. Tough loss to Georgia shutout, but what an unbelievable run for.
Missouri to finish up with 11 wins again. I think he was chuckling that Dave Steckel was getting the bat too when they hit him with the other bucket full. 